All right. Um, okay, I'm making this with Zoom because the um, because um, the usual thing I use is blocked at my house. So I'm going to share my screen with you. Uh, let's see. I'm going to share. Mm, okay. This this screen. Okay. All right. So um, you are to complete your um, summary annotated book today. Um, you have a checklist right here, and it tells you what to include in your summary annotated bib. But if you did your plot diagram, your plot diagram is the summary in a, gra in a graphic organizer. So um, you can go by this and it says, you know, talk about the setting, talk about the main characters, list the events that occur, list the cl climax, the turning point in the story, and then the conclusion. Or you can simply open up your plot diagram, and here's my example. And you can, you know, start with setting in a rural country home in the 1960s. Mama and Maggie are are waiting for Dee to come visit. And then you can talk about each character, you know, give a description of each character real quick. Um, it is clear that Mama and Dee have had a strained relationship for a long time. Okay, and then you can list the, the rising action. Dee comes to visit and seems to be very interested in the homemade items in the house. Dee finds quilts that have been promised to her sister Maggie, but asks to take them home with her instead. All right, so as you can see, I'm just going through my graphic organizer and it's becoming my um, annotated bib. And then you're gonna go back and clean it up after that. But here's my example, annotated bib. Um, you'll notice that there is a um, citation right here. The way I got this is I went to Citation Machine, okay? And right now it has an ad. Let me go, let me open it again. Um, well, first I went to um, Google and I put everyday use short story. And I found my short story. Yes, this is it. So I'm gonna copy this link. And then I went to Citation Machine. Some of y'all like Easy Bib better, any of those type of things will be fine. I'm gonna create a citation. It's gonna be a website. I'm gonna paste the website right here. Search. It says, hey, is this what you want? Yes, this is what I want. I'm going to hit continue. It makes me hit continue multiple times. Anyway, it's gonna ask me if I want to, um, same thing that happened last time. It doesn't add and it lasts a certain amount of seconds. Um, uh, let's see how many seconds it's gonna last. Okay, it looks like it may be over. Um, anyway, Complete citation, you'll have to wait for the ad and it will pop up eventually. If that doesn't work, try easy bid. All right, so I copied and pasted that at the top of my document. I highlighted the citation. Um, when originally, you see these bars I'm sliding up here at the top, it was like this. I had to put it in the correct format so I took I clicked the arrow and slid it over, and then I took the bar and slid it back, and that's what makes this. Now, when I go down here, um, I don't want that. Um, I don't want that format down here. So, down here, my format should be like this and then when I put a tab then it you know changes anyway um, 
If you read my annotated bib, it's pretty much my plot diagram in you know, my own words and following formal writing basics. Um, if you go, if you look right here, I've inserted a quote. You want to try to do that. Um, you know, you could paraphrase and then you don't have to um, cite, but um, for me, I, I wanted to use something that my character said. So I used the quote and then you see I had the parentheses. Um, that's how it should look. Okay, author last name, no comma, page number, period on the outside. Okay, you can see that I did it again down here. I quoted something someone said in the text. All right, and then I put um, author's last name, no comma, page number, period. Um, you don't want to just drop a quote, you need to include the situation or, you know, around the quote. So when mama tells Dee she cannot take the quotes because they've been promised to Maggie, Dee gets angry and says this. I can't just say, I can't just drop that quote in without leading up to it like that because no one will know the context. All right, so that's the annotated bib. Um, I'm so glad, um, <laughs> you know, I made this video because if you weren't in the live meeting today, I made it because um, my son's sick today, so I'm at home with him. And during our live lesson, he was kind of making some noise. So um, I wanted to make sure I gave all the instructions without that distraction. If you have questions, please email me. I'll be happy to help you. This is going to be a YouTube video. Well, you already know because you're watching it. Never mind. All right. Um,